anyway, these um, walls that are this um, insulating type stuff, I'm going to paint those and it's kind of like a light gray that I'm going to paint. I'm going to leave the wood alone and I think it's gonna look really nice. And I have to run to the mill, yay. Okay, we're off to the mill. And one of the questions I get is, how much does it cost to feed a horse? <laughs> That's a kind of a trick question because it depends on your horse. Um, the age, the breed, you know, the size. Believe it or not, bigger horses like giraffes actually require less food, which is kind of, doesn't sound like it would make sense, but that's the case. Um, some horses have a higher metabolism. So for our horses, I usually buy grain, I'd say every three weeks, and I get three to four bags of pelleted grain. Um, and then I get one bag of the alfalfa cubes to supplement, add that in. And then of course they get their hay ration. Grain has gone up. It's um, anywhere from 20, for the stuff I buy, 24 to 28 dollars for a 50 pound bag. Um, so you figure each time I go to the mill, I'm dropping maybe 120 bucks. Um, you do that every three weeks for easy math. You know, you figure in three months times three times three. So that kind of gets you an idea of what you spend. Um, I think my biggest expense is my hay and cat food because <laughs> it's true but anyway all right off to the mill yay I love my little town little railroad crossing but I wanted you to see hopefully you'll be able to see up here gas is so expensive Three dollars and fifty-one cents at this gas station. Three fifty-one. Holy moly! Luckily, my vehicle sips fuel. I get almost forty miles to the gallon with my little Kia Soul, and I use the truck to haul my horse trailer. All right, here we are. Pulling in. Do -do -do. Yay! One of my second favorite places in the world. And tractor supply put my mask on to head in um, in Maryland which is where we are um, they've lifted the mask mandate in a lot of um, public spaces uh, I think there are still a few that require it um, but I still wear a mask because I work with medically fragile individuals and I would never want to think that something I caught could make them sick so I wear my mask to protect them myself and those around me um, don't judge. <laughs> I only do it when I'm out in public. So, but anyway, I'm going to head in and get grain now. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're back home and here is the haul. We got 50 pounds of black oil sunflower seed, one bag of alfalfa cubes, and three bags of alum, which is a pelleted feed that we feed our horses. And all of this, the total was just around $145. So that gives you kind of an idea. So... Grocery shopping is done. Now we can get ready to paint. Yay! Doing my cut-ins. Luckily there aren't many, so that's good because it's not my favorite part of painting. Okay, 
I'm not gonna lie. I love the smell of paint. <laughs> it smells good. I have good memories of paint smell. Anyway, all right, we're gonna get started on the wall. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing. We'll just do little snippets. Mainly want to record this for my own, my own. Um, I don't know what the right word would be. Like chronologically saving this transformation. So, quite honestly, most of the videos I make, I'm doing them because I want to. I want to document my stuff. So, but I like when people watch too. Okay, here we go. Unless I mess up, then I'm not so happy. I think it's going to really lighten up the space. I think it's going to look really good. All right. Piece of wood here is um, I'm gonna leave it this color we I have um, four of these really neat like bouncy chairs that some of the kids really enjoy and so when I store them I stick them up on this ledge and this lip just keeps them from falling down so that's what this is for um, I'm not bringing the bouncy chairs in until they finish the roof and the ceiling I'm trying to minimize how much I touch things so but anyway I'm really excited with how this is looking I'm I'd say I'm about a third of the way completed and it's going pretty well. So I think be able to check this off my list. drop cloth because I usually say eh, I don't need that but man I got so much paint on there anyway looking good only have one more wall to do after this one thank god then I gotta go back and make sure I see if I have to do a second coat
satisfied. I'm also glad I'm wearing these gloves because I've gotten paint all over my hands, but they won't get on my hands. Right. <laughs> okay, last little bit of the first coat. I tell you what, people out there that are painters, I got mad respect for you, cause this, this was this this hurts your back. Anyway, let's give you a quick. Let's see, we'll start over here, I guess. Da 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 da. Let me go around. Let me go to that corner. Doop, doop, doop. That's really good. Really good. I'm so happy. And we're gonna do trim um, on the bottom. So it'll be a pine trim. It'll be, we're gonna do a, um, I think a two, a one by four on this side. And then on this side, we'll do a one by six because there's a little bit more of a gap. But because it's its own wall, it will, it'll be okay, I think. So, yeah, so we're done. Well, first coat, I'm very happy. That's a noisy bird. Anyway, yay. Okay, we have the second coat on. So we'll do a quick walk around. I think it looks really good. Much better than that crazy gray. Let's see if we can get back and get a kind of a... Can't wait to put all my stuff back on the walls. <laughs> but not until they do the ceiling and the roof. All right, project complete. Very pleased. And my back is killing me. <laughs> it's totally worth it. So this is proof that with a little patience and kindness, you can change the way an animal's life is. Um, this little kitty showed up here, mm, I want to say maybe like five months ago, and he was so frightened, so skinny, but we started feeding him, we treated him for parasites. We still don't really consider him a Meadow Creek farm cat because he does leave sometimes and wander and come back, but Mark has worked so hard it's just the sweetest thing. And now he craves attention. I mean, he comes over to the door and waits for Mark to go out and give him his morning scratches. So we call it morning scratches with Mark. <laughs> A boy and his stray cat. <laughs> so cute. See, his idea of work is different than mine, I feel like. Come on, bud. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Let's see what he does. That's a good boy. Okay, I'll scratch you. Give you scratchies. Yes. Good. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. That's not very fast. Oh, and then, oh, okay. Well, um, uh, uh, okay, sir. Sir. Yeah, we're not getting anything done today. <laughs>